Well, the future of Green Island Ice Arena is in question right now. The news came as a shock to some athletes and one coach in particular. News 19's Marcus Arsvold met up with him for reaction and to learn more about the status of the ever popular recreational spot. A lot of people use Green Island Ice Arena for winter sports, but that could change. We're not asking for a lot. We're just asking for a fair shot to keep Green Island operating and open. The arena is home to hockey, figure skating, curling, and adaptive ice sports and lacrosse. Sauter says back in December, Lacrosse Parks and Rec said they might not continue funding the facility. Basically, it'll mean the end of hockey and lacrosse, and that would be just a shame. Most of all, Sauter says six months just isn't enough time to find adequate funding. I think it's really unfair for them to expect that we can put together a plan to manage such a dynamic facility in less than half of a year. Back in July, director Jay Odegaard said maintaining the arena was too expensive and now they might pull funding for it. They look at a lot of some of the deferred maintenance that needs to be done at the facility and it was just better for us um, to kind of proceed being the manager at this time. All the chiller system, our dehumidification system, we have some ventilation issues. Despite all that, Sauter says they just need a little more time. We need to be able to have time to take a look outside the box and find out if there are any other ways that we can uh, bring money into the arena. Um, I think all of those are possibilities, but it's just not something any reasonable person can do in six months. In La Crosse, Marcus Arsvold, News 19. The Board of Park Commissioners meets tomorrow at 5.30, uh, but they aren't making a final decision there either. They declined to speak with us on camera today as well. But Odegaard says they'll update the public, and it's still a possibility that they could extend that funding.